Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to My Mayhem. Today, we are talking about traveling with babies and toddlers. Either or. He's a toddler. And he has had the luxury of going on plenty of trips in yeah, trips in his little life. He's been on road trips. He's been on a cruise. He's been on flights. One of our first trips was mm, a road trip. Um, what helped me with the road trip, I'm a breastfeeding mom. You guys know that if you are subscribed to our channel. If not, make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. You're going to love it. You're going to love it if you're a traveling parent. These are things that work for me. Um, you can comment below things that work for you. Maybe you can give me some tips. Use some of my tips. Whatever. Let's network together and keep traveling the world. So, we the first thing was road trip. Um, I always brought my handheld pump. That was my buddy. Um, son, you can't tear up the studio. You, you want to write? Look, what's your name? A S I R T A U. What does that spell? A seer child. <laughs> yeah, that's your name. Okay, so back again. Uh, road trip. I always brought my hand pump to pump while we were on the road. Um, just in case he got hungry um, while we were driving and couldn't stop yet, um, I would pump, put in a bottle, pass it to him. That worked for us. Um, we would take stops. Um, yes, because he wasn't walking or crawling at the time when we started road trips. Yes, they still need to stretch their little bones. Don't put that in your mouth. They need to stretch their little bones. They get tired of being in a car seat. Don't you get tired of being behind that seatbelt? They get tired of being strapped into a car seat. So we would let them stretch. I would nurse him, put him back in uh, in his car seat. And for most trips, he, he slept really well. Um, what I did for car trips, what I did for... Um, plane trips and what I did on cruise trip. Just quick little tips and we gonna get this going. All right, so in the car. Tip number one was for a baby, um, just make sure you feed them and let them stretch, keep their diapers changed. Um, for a toddler, Make sure you have snacks. Make sure you keep them entertained. It all depends on the length of the trip. Um, keep their diapers changed. Um, I am very uh, uh, equipped. In, I keep the car stacked with diapers, wipes, um, changing pad. Um, I'm able to change him in my lap. I am able to uh, change him in the seat. Um, I'm just good at that. How, whatever works for you, that works for me. Um, I do not like public restrooms. Um, but, you know, if I had to do use them, I will. But most of the time, I don't have to. I can do it in my lap or in the car. Car trip. Um, next up. Um, playing. Asir has had the luxury of being on a plane. Now, my parents did not take me on trips like this when I was younger, but I want him to learn early what to do, how to do, where to go, you know, travel, travel life. 
black kids do travel. I had the luxury of visiting family in Ohio and we had a blast. Um, what helped me with that, be, um, he was uh, 11 months old when we took that trip. So he was a little cruiser. He was learning to walk. So of course he wanted to use those skills. So I got layover flights. Hey, where you going? Let's see her. Let's see her. Hey. Hey. Tao. <laughs> You want my bag? All right, you can have it. You carry it around for me because I keep trying to leave it places, so maybe you do better at keeping your eye on it. Let's see here. Um, I didn't get straight flights um, because I don't know a baby that can sit for five hours, but when you find that baby, let me know. But it all depends on what time you're able to get your flight. You know whether if it's going to be your baby's going to be sleeping during this time. That's great. Um, if it's times where your baby is moving around, it you just have to make sure you book the right flights that work for you. And um, our flights vary, you know, but they worked out. We had some layover flights, we had some short flights, we had some longer flights. Um, you just have to make sure you book the right time. Uh, what else? Always make sure you uh, pack light. You do not need to bring all the baby gear. Um, make sure you wear your baby. Travel with a whole bunch of diapers. You don't need a whole lot. Um, you can always buy diapers when you get to your location. Um, it's just much easier that way and you don't have to pack a whole bunch of stuff. Breastfeed if you can. Now, if, uh, your baby, if your baby is bottle fed and you have to bring formula or whatever, I don't know about that. This, this, I'm strictly a breastfeeding mom, so I can only speak for the breastfeeding mom. Breastfeed if you can. It just works, you know, it calms them down. If they get a little antsy, whatever it is, um, if the ears may pop, it just works. It helps and it made our flight a success. Breastfeed if you can. Sit in the front of the plane if you can. Um, you need that leg room or um, you just, you know, want baby to have that space to stand up in when they're able to stand um, just to give you room. Um, babies fly free under what? I think it's two years old. Um, so, um that's if they don't utilize the seat. If they use a seat, you have to pay for the seat. And of course, they're not flying free. But um, I like to fly Southwest. Select so You select your own seating. Um, so I got lucky and we never had to sit next to anyone except for on one of our short flights. And I'm like, please don't be the baby that's gonna cry on the plane the whole time and bug the person that's sitting next to us. But he was such a great baby. If your baby needs entertainment, make sure you bring baby entertainment. Um, like I said, make sure you pack lots of snacks, depending on the age of your baby. My baby loves to snack. Um, whether it's little sandwiches, finger foods, whatever it is that your baby likes, Make sure you pack it because planes don't have anything but pretzels, cookies, and something to drink. That's not going to work for a baby. 
baby, if baby is on a schedule and baby's used to something, you got to keep it no matter what. So you can have a successful flight. And that's what I did. I made sure that my baby still felt like he was at home, even when we were out of town or on the flight. Don't forget your car seat. If you rent a car or your visiting family, they have a car they're not, and they don't have a car seat, you need to have your car seat. Don't forget that. You just check that when you get to the airport. They'll put it on uh, the plane. If you have connecting flights, you just tell them connecting flights. They'll handle it. Just make sure you don't forget the car seat. Um, I wore my baby, so I didn't have to worry about a stroller. But if you must have a stroller, just make sure it's a lightweight stroller. You want to pack as light as possible and not have a whole bunch of stuff to tug around. You already have a baby. That's enough. So wear your baby and they have carriers where you can wear your baby up until what, 75 pounds. I mean, at that point, your toddler is running, walking, talking, doing all that stuff, but um, they have them. Wear your baby. Cruises. Um, that's much more easier to do um, because food is everywhere galore unless your baby has a allergy to something you make sure you tell um the cruise if that's so but i didn't really have to worry about a lot of stuff on the cruise i packed what i packed um i made sure i had the stroller i made sure i had snacks um I made sure I had his cup. Um, I breastfeed, so that was that. Um, and cruising was really, really easy. All I needed extra really was the stroller. They provide a baby bed for you. Um, cruising was my favorite I because I didn't have to worry about a lot of things at all um just keeping him on his schedule and keeping him entertained on the boat is all i really had to worry about but traveling with a baby is real fun we are going to atlanta Check us out.